Welcome to CAD Concepts. Today we will explore 25 powerful and productive LISP routine. LISP routine is generally created for a particular concern in case if you want to automate your repetitive task which takes lot of time and effort. In that case you can use LISP routine as per your custom work. We will explore 25 powerful LISP routine. Must watch out completely. Without getting completely, you cannot understand how to automate your repetitive task by these 25 powerful list routines. These list routines created by different parts of the world and credit goes to its respective developer. So without wasting time, let's begin. Number 1. Multi-unit area. As you can see here, this P line we have. I want multiple unit in one time. Area statement, double D area command. As you can see, just click over the P line architectural scale, decimal scale, metric scale, feet, meters, yards, acres, hectares. You are getting in one time completely in five formats. Number two, parking layout. As you can see, here, this parking floor plan we have. I want to provide parking layout in one time. Wherever I want to place my car, in one time how I can create parking bay. Let this PB command and provide width 250. Click over the line as you can see here. Same as it is. Click over the line. And same as it is. Click over the line. So this way you can create your parking layout in one time very smoothly. And very quickly, as you can see here, if I will take measurement, I will get as it is what the value I have provided. So in one time, you can take it out your parking layout, something like this. As you can see here, we are getting exact as it is all around what the value we have provided. Something like this very quickly. Number three, enclosed circle. This object we have randomly. Okay. I want to enclose with circle in one time. Let this MECM command minimum enclosed. Okay. Select your object as you can see here. Same as this, this one also. So you can provide entire diameter over the object. Something like this, as you can see here. In just one time. Number four, intersection length. Wherever we are crossing, wherever we are intersecting, I want to provide length, okay? In one time, wherever we are getting intersection separately, let this intersection length command int length. Select your P line or line as you can see here so it got split your total length as per intersection number five curb line i want to provide curb over this line okay let this kb command and provide width and just give the direction which side you want okay let this 35 width click over the p line and simply which side you want this side as you can see here so this way you can provide curve line over the p line in one time something like this very smoothly and very quickly we'll see other side how we can simply place same as it is but other side okay I will take command KB and simply provide length width to 45 unit offset and let this side as you can see here you are getting in just one time complete curve line something like this. Number 6 P line dimension. We have this complete P line. I want to provide dimension in one time. Let this PDIM command 
and select your P line. As you can see here, in one time you can place your entire dimension over the P line in one time. In case if you have multiple P line separately, for example, we are here with four rectangle, it can be multiple rectangle. Let the speed dimension command select your entire object, enter as you can see here. So this way you can simply provide auto dimension for entire P line. Number seven, barricades. I want to provide barricades quickly with any random distance. CB command, okay. And let this here, you can provide width 75 unit and just click over the P line as you can see here and give the direction same as it is here also and here also so which direction I want I can simply provide barricades over the P line in one time it will create solid hedge and both side your P line something like this you can increase barricade width and let this here as you can see here so very quickly I can create barricades this way number eight z level i want to point out elevation height okay simply z double e command and click over the point as you can see here so in just one time you can provide elevation height your entire z level as you can see here, we are getting our complete Z level, something like this. So by Z double E command, with the help of this piece routine, you can simply create your elevation level. Number nine, 3D spiral. I want to create 3D spiral. I don't know what the use of this list routine, we'll see how we can create 3D spiral, okay? And click over the area. Number of rotation 45 unit, you can give as per your own, okay? And starting radius, let this 60 unit. Horizontal growth per, per rotation, okay? We'll provide here 45. Vertical growth, same as it is, 45. Point per rotation, okay? Let this here. 55 as you can see here so 3d spiral got created so we are getting 2d okay simply you can give 3d orbit okay let this 3d orbit okay now see the result so this way you can simply create 3d spiral you can let me in comment what the use of this spiral with 3D? Let me in comment, okay? Because I don't know generally. But this way we can create. Definitely there is a use, okay? Number 10. Point coordinates. I want to point out complete coordinates with table randomly, okay? Something like this. You'll see very smoothly how we can place. I will take command C double O R. What you had to do, just pick first point, second, okay? First number will start 0, 1 and enter the table corner. Let this here, okay? After that, just click over the point randomly, something like this, 3, 4, 5, and 6. When you are ready, just enter one time. As you can see here, you are getting north, east, point with serial number, something like this, in just one time. Number 11, X, Y, Z coordinates. I want elevation also, okay? For all side, point wise, let this 
l e n e m command and let this any random point okay so you are getting north east and elevation also your complete coordinates to the point you are getting something like this as you can see here for three side north east east and elevation height z level we are getting also so we are getting z level 0 0 so that's why all around we are getting 0 0 and north and east something like this as you can see here number 12 delete dimension i want to delete dimension quickly in one time for entire drawing nothing you have to do let this delete dimension which is d e l d i m enter so wherever you have dimension entire drawing it got delete so randomly you can delete this way number 13 dimension arc will provide dimension arc but little differently okay let this d i m a command click over the arc and click the offset area okay after that randomly just by dragging only you are getting angle also just click again and by randomly you can provide text as you can see here first it will highlight angle after that you can drag where you want to place your arc text your dimension text same as this we'll see okay here also as you can see here first we are getting angle after that when you click one time okay when you click one time you will get your dimension length as you can see here something like this first you will get angle second you will get dimension length third you can place by dragging only number 14 quick door i want to provide auto door but not better than yq arch okay let this d1 command first point second point and provide any random area as you can see here same as this first point second point and provide any random area same as this first point second point and direction where you want to open so by d1 command you can place your door something like this same as this we'll see d2 command also how we can provide double door okay let this simply d2 command starting point ending point and opening side as you can see here starting point ending point and opening side so this way you can simply create dual door single door by d1 d2 command but as i said not better than yq arch number 15 area table i want place by peak point this number of area we have into table separately just by clicking only okay let this area tab okay what you have to do first pick your table okay first pick your area okay then table it, as you can see here same as this pick area and again table so this way you can simply create your area randomly in table something like this as you can see here in just one time very smoothly and very quickly as much as we have but it should be close p line and it should be inside numbers as you can see here very smoothly and very quickly we can find out area and square meter in complete table separately for entire close p line something like this number 16 auto numbers somehow somewhere this is also useful let this nm command starting number one continuous number also one 
it means it will go one two three four as you can see here just you have to click wherever you want you can provide auto numbers as i said not better than yq arch also abh command let this another uh, suffix prefix will increase step increment okay let this increment by five now if i will click one it will go five alteration 6 11 61 21 16 21 26 so you can provide number increment double a double z command later with circle okay and simply click something like this as you can see here a b c d e f so we will get alphabet with circle by double a double z command we'll see other option also suffix prefix how we can simply provide double a d command starting later let this z prefix text let this a and click as you can see a z will provide a okay double a let this double a both side prefix a and text location let this a now double a b double a c double a d double a e so this way you can provide your prefix something like this number 17 coordinate dimension i want to write ordinate dimension okay let this o r d y command okay first point one only as you can see here so i am getting ordinate dimension north and east with exact point to the over the p line so this way we can take it out complete coordinates something like this as you can see here so this is called ordinate dimension also very smoothly and very quickly this way number 18 table coordinates this p line we have let this tab chord okay select your p line and take your table you are getting alphabet also and coordinates completely in one time you are getting something like this if you have length and total area in close and gravity also you are getting in just one time for complete plot this list created for a particular concern only for land calculation number 19 save coordinates i want to save as a text as a notepad okay let this pl xy and select over the p line and provide the location where you want to save your notepad your complete coordinates as you can see here so we are getting x and y and z with exact coordinate to the point in notepad so this way we can simply create number 20 slope percentage as you can see here this length 350 this length 100 automatically we want to get this slope percentage let this slope command okay first point second point and click to take your percentage so in just one time you can take it out so this is 27.4 percentage slope with 350 by 100 height we will see one more time let this slop first point second point and click to take your percentage so this is what simply let this one this one flatten so this is zero got it same as this we will go we will go hundred first point second point so this is 100 so this way you can take your percentage how much going ramp how much going slop very easily and very quickly okay number 21 block break this block we have we want to provide over the line p line with break okay let this double a b command okay click over the block okay and click over the line as you can see here same as this here also 
same as it is here also. So this way you can place your block over the line something like this in just one time. As you can see here. Number 22 multi unit area. Same as this, I want to provide multi unit area. Okay, let this ACL command. Okay, decimal point. Okay, let this two only. Select object. Enter and click inside or outside where you want. Square meter, square feet, acre, hectare, cents, square meal, square kilometer. All around we are getting in one time. So multi unit diamond, multi unit area statement you can take it out in just one time. Something like this. As you can see here, we are getting completely in one time. In, in case if you have multiple rectangle, multiple close P line. So you can do that one also. Same as it is. Let this ACL command. Okay. Select your object entirely and click to take your complete area statement in multiple units. Something like this. Number 23, arc to circle. This arc we have, okay. We want close as a circle. Let, let this ATC command, okay. And simply select entire arc, enter. As you can see here, it got joined wherever your arc you are getting in just one time. Number 24, point table coordinates. I want to provide points also, table also, coordinate also. Let this type card, select polyline, take your table. So you are getting complete alphabet, complete point, x and y and radius. In case if you radius, you will get that one also. As you can see, center to center radius, how much you are getting. So that one also you will get over here. As you can see here, area, perimeter, gravity center also, all about with serial numbers and alphabet, in just one time you will get something like this very smoothly and very quickly for entire close P line or it can be multiple P line, something like this very smoothly and very quickly. Number 25. Quick star. I want to create quick star randomly. Let this star command. Okay. And pick where you want. As you can see, by plus minus you can increase number of corner. As you can see, something like this. As you can see. So this way randomly I can place in case if I want to provide somewhere somehow. As you can see here, randomly we can raise in just one time our star. As you can see here, so this is okay. For example, this is okay. Then we can simply place just by clicking only minimum reach and maximum reach as per your own. As you can see, here, you can go more than that, less than that something like this and by plus minus something like this just leave it as it is so this way you can create your quick start i hope you got these 25 powerful allies routine helpful must download 100 advanced automation tasks this book will help you to understand to memorize this command in very much simple and in very much faster way and you can point out somewhere somehow your your repetitive task how you can automate these hundred list routine with facts and figure definitely you will find somewhere somehow in case if you are expecting to automate your task you can definitely contact me through email so i hope you got this video helpful much like share and subscribe if you have anywhere any doubt leave your comments as soon as possible i will try your queries thanks for watching See you in the next video with another topic.